Hey yo! What's going on everyone? World of Combat here. And I'm really sad and upset after yesterday the news of wrestling legend Scott Hall passing away. Um, he's one of my all-time favorite wrestlers and an awesome human being. I'm thankful that I was able to meet him a couple times before his passing. I mean, he's a prime example that it's never too late in life to change and really inspirational guy. Uh, one of the best wrestlers ever to have never won the world championship. And in this video, I really am just going to count down 10 of his most monumental matches and moments. Um, you can go watch them if you have the WWE Network, if not YouTube them. And, it, you know, if you've watched him, these are 10 great memories and great matches to watch. If you've never watched them before, enjoy this. Um, even though these may not be the 10 technically best wrestling matches of his career, I think I put together a list of 10 great moments that really showcase his entire career in WWE and WCW. Um, like I said, he was one of my favorite wrestlers ever. It's actually crazy that this news just happened. I was planning on training at his school in Orlando. I was really excited. I've spoken to him before. Um, he's a great guy, like I said, and uh, it's amazing to see what he did in his recovery and, you know, prayers go out to his family. But here we go. We're going to count down the top 10 matches, most monumental matches in Scott Hall's career. Number 10, his matchup against Goldberg at sold out 1999. Now this match is more of just a showcase to show that he was still good. Even in the later parts of his career, it was a gimmick match, a stun gun ladder match. Um, you know, he got a better match out of Goldberg than most people did at the time, and it had a lot of potential for disaster, but he really pulled it off. He worked his ass off in this matchup, and it was one of the few main event spots that he really had in WCW. Yes, he did lose, but to get a good match, a good ladder match even, out of Goldberg um, is really impressive. Number nine, his matchup against Diesel at SummerSlam 1994. This is great just because these two guys are best friends. Getting to actually watch both of them in their prime compete in this match is great. Definitely recommend going back and watching this one. At this point, he was the number two face in the WWF at the time. Um, and he had Walter Payton in his corner to stop Shawn Michaels. Great feud with his best friend, like I said. Ended up where HBK ended up super kicking Diesel, where Scott Hall was able to regain the Intercontinental Championship. Coming in at number eight, his matchup against Sting at Uncensored 1998. Now, this one's on the list because um, it showcases that he was in the main event scene at some points in WCW. This is his shot for the WCW Championship. And I'll, I'll make an 8.5 being the World War III Battle Royal that happened before this in order for him to win the number one contendership spot. That was great. And um, this match is just a quick really exciting matchup both the guys got their spots in even involved brass knuckles but he ended up losing after a scorpion death drop to sting number seven his only wwf championship matchup uh against bret hart at royal rumble 1993 now this was early in his career as razor ramon right when ramon was taking off and in the main event scene um ramon dominated the majority of the match he really did a good job you know, targeting the ribs, which he worked the whole match. And at the time, it was a chance for him to prove himself, and he did just that. And it was a star-making performance, you know, and even though he did lose via sharpshooter, Bret Hart was the guy at the time, and for Razor to show that he can hang with him in the ring was great. Now, number six, I'm going to do Rick Martel, um, a quick match from Raw in 1993, but this was his first time capturing the Intercontinental Championship. Um, he just had a recent baby face turn because the people were getting behind the Razor Ramon character. He had a strong in-ring performance in this one. Martel put him over, though. He ended up winning the matchup with the Razor's Edge. And it wasn't the longest matchup, but it's essential to his story in the wrestling world because he ended up winning the Intercontinental Championship four times, and it really elevated its significance at the time it wasn't that great of a championship but what ramon and michaels did to the belt at that time was so important um, and definitely changed the championship for the better in years going forward at number five i have his matchup against Shawn michaels from SummerSlam in 1995 now this is the sequel to a matchup which i will talk about a little bit later and the sequel rarely delivers 
up to the hype of the original, but it did. And this match was made on short notice too, which just shows that Sean and Razor are so good in the ring at making a storyline that they didn't need much of a storyline to build this one up this time it was the other way around from their original occurrence uh ramon was the heel in this match he worked the knee really well to make it difficult for hbk to climb the ladder really really physical matchup honestly probably the better match um technically speaking of the two matches but less iconic ended up getting suplexed off the ladder and hit the razor's edge off the ladder which is a great moment um ended up losing that one to hbk now, number four, what a moment this is. Go back and watch it if you've never seen it. Um, his matchup with Kevin Nash and with Hulk Hogan against Sting, Lex Luger, and Randy Savage at Bash of the Beach 1996. Now, this led to the best angle in the company's history of WCW. It started out as a two-on-three handicap matchup and had to not only go against the odds here but deliver a quality main event. Um this match really established that Hall was the worker of the NWO um, as he took the majority of the bumps in this one, got the storyline over. And what I really noticed here is that he had great in-ring chemistry with Randy Savage. I wish they did more with that. Um, but, it, you know, it's a great moment. The low blow by Hall leading to Hogan coming out and dropping the leg drop to create the NWO is awesome. Still get chills thinking about it. It was a great moment. Now, coming in at number three. Now, this match, many people might not know. It's going to be hard to find, but you can find it. It's a tag team matchup for the championships. Him and 123 Kid, also known as X Pac, versus Diesel and Shawn Michaels from WWE Action Zone in 1994. Now, to show how impressive this match is, it was from a Sunday afternoon show, and we're still talking about it. It was for the tag team championships. At the time, it was actually nominated for match of the year, and it was one of the best tag team matches of the decade. Um, at one point, Diesel was out of the matchup, so it was mostly Ramon and Michaels and as you've known from me talking about the other matches between the two, they have great in-ring chemistry. Diesel ended up coming back in the ring, and they won. This match really introduced false finishes and featured all the Click members, and you could tell that they were having fun in there. At number two, now this shows how unselfish he was and that he was able to make another star. His matchup against the 1-2-3 kid on Raw, um, this one's more for the moment than the actual match itself. At the time, kid was just being booked in squash matches. It's one of the biggest upsets in wrestling history. Kicked the match off. Uh, man, it just makes you happy talking about it. But with the flick of the toothpick in the face, um, Razor just threw him all around the ring only for him to bounce back. Kid went for the cross body but got caught by the Razor. Um, this was a great moment. I mean, watch this. This spot gets done a lot now, but at the time it was pretty original. Where Kid went for the cross body, got caught by Razor into the fallaway slam. Um, and then even though Kid won the match with the moonsault, Razor ended up you know, getting the feud, but it did elevate Kit. And number one, if you didn't know this was going to be the obvious number one, his matchup against Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 10. I mean, this is one of the greatest and most transformative matches in wrestling history. Um, not only introduced the ladder match to most wrestling fans, but set the bar so high. If you think about it, ladder matches were not common at the time, and then they became common after this, and many couldn't do it probably until... The TLC matches with the Hardys, Dudleys, and Edge and Christian up to this level. Um, now, this was a unica unification matchup for both Intercontinental Championships at the time. Razor ended up pulling the padding, exposing the concrete at one point, which was another innovation, which just shows how brilliant he was. Um, he was the one who took the bump on it after Michaels countered the Razor's edge. Who could ever forget the Michaels ladder splash from the corner. It was amazing. Um, Ramon suplexed Michaels off the ladder at one point. Michaels hit the super kick and a pile driver on Ramon and then put the ladder on his chest only for Ramon to push it off. And it ended up where Michaels got caught in the ropes for a razor victory. Um, wow, just talking about all those matches, just making me reminisce, getting joy out of it. You can see the joy on my face as I talk about one of my all-time favorites. Um, so like I said, go watch those matches. Um, let's just appreciate the man, the wrestler that was Scott Hall, Razor Ramon, um, rest easy, big guy, uh, like this video and subscribe for more. See ya.